next we'll see the connections so first we'll see the connections of the specific nuclei so from the trigeminal lemniscus and the solitary thalamic tract so these tract forms the afferent and they terminate into the ventral posteromedial nucleus of the thalamus from here the afferent goes to the post central gyrus the area number 312 when you see the function of this connection it is a relay station for the impulses from the head face and taste bud next we'll see the connections of ventral posterolateral nucleus so the afferents of the ventral posterolateral nucleus of the thalamus are the medial lemniscus and spinal lemniscus and it terminates into the ventral posterolateral nucleus of the thalamus from here the afferent goes to the post central gyrus the area number 312 so when you see the function it acts as a relay station for the extraceptive that is pain touch and temperature sensation and proprioceptive sensation from whole body except face and head next we'll see the connections of ventral anterior nucleus of the thalamus from the globus pallidus you get the subthalamic fasciculus so these forms the afferent to the ventral anterior nucleus of the thalamus so from here the afferent goes to the premotor cortex the area number 6 and 8 so the function is the relay station for the striatal impulses next we'll see the connections of the ventral lateral or the ventral intermediate nucleus of the thalamus from the cerebellum you get the dentato rubro thalamic fibers and dentato thalamic fibers these form the afferent and they terminate in the ventral lateral or intermediate nucleus of the thalamus from here the afferent goes to the motor and premotor area the area number 4 and 6 so the function is it acts as a relay station for the cerebellar impulses next we'll see the connections of non specific nuclei so here the anterior nucleus so from the mammillary body you get the mammillothalamic tract so these forms the afferent and they terminate into the anterior nucleus from here the afferent goes to the cingulate gyrus the function is attention and recent memory next we'll see the connections of the medial dorsal nucleus from other thalamic nuclei and hypothalamus you get the afferent they terminate into the medial dorsal nucleus from here the afferent goes to the prefrontal area the function is it is associated with mood and emotional balance next we'll see the connections of the lateral dorsal nucleus so from the ventral tire thalamic nuclei you get the afferent and they terminate into the lateral dorsal nucleus from here the afferent goes to the precuneus and cingulate gyrus the function is it integrate the sensory information next we'll see the connections of the lateral posterior nucleus so from the ventral tire nuclei of the thalamus the afferent goes to the lateral posterior nucleus from here the afferent goes to the superior parietal lobule and the function is it integrates the sensory information next we'll see the connections of the pulvinar so here also from the ventral tire thalamic nuclei the afferent goes to the pulvinar from here the afferent goes to the association areas of parietal temporal and occipital lobe and the function is it correlates the visual and auditory information with other sensations next we'll see the connections of the reticular nuclei of the thalamus first we'll see about the reticular nucleus from the brain stem reticular formation the afferent goes to the reticular nucleus from here the afferent goes to the whole 
cerebral cortex the function is it forms a part of the reticular activating system next we'll see the connection of the intralaminar nuclei so these are the intralaminar nuclei so from the brain stem and the reticular formation the afferent terminate in the intralaminar nuclei from here the afferent goes to the other thalamic nuclei and corpus striatum the function is it is involved in the awareness of painful stimuli at thalamic level Next we'll see the functions of the thalamus. It acts as a sensory integration and relay station of all the sensory pathway except for the olfactory pathway. The olfactory pathway is projected directly to the cerebral cortex without being relayed in the thalamus. It is capable to recognize pain, thermal and some tactile sensation at its own level. it influence the voluntary movement by receiving the impulses from the basal ganglia and the cerebellum and relaying them to the motor cortex which in turn influences the lower motor neuron through the corticonuclear and corticospinal pathways through the ascending reticular activating system the thalamic reticular component participate in the maintenance of the state of wakefulness and alertness by receiving the impulses from the hypothalamus and projecting them to the prefrontal and the cingulate gyrus it participate in the affective reaction that is the determination of mood it is thought to have a role in the reason memory and emotions it influences the electrical activity of the cerebral cortex that is it plays a role in the synchronization or desynchronization of eeg waves when you see the clinical correlation from a clinical point of view the connections of the ventral posterior nucleus are most important because its smaller medial portion that is the ventral posteromedial nucleus receives the general sensory modalities from the head and the face through the trigeminal lemniscus and the taste sensation from the taste bud through the solitary thalamic tract and its larger lateral portion that is the ventral posterolateral nucleus it receives the extraceptive sensation that is pain touch and thermal through the spinal lemniscus and proprioceptive sensation that is the muscle and joint sensation vibration two point discrimination through the medial lemniscus from the rest of the body except the face and the head all the sensation reaching the ventral posterior nucleus or carry to the primary sensory area of the cerebral cortex by fibers passing through the posterior limb of the internal capsule so this forms the superior thalamic radiation the vascular lesions involving the posterior limb of the internal capsule is the common cause of impairment of all forms of sensibility on the opposite side of the body the integrity of the anterior nucleus and its connection is necessary for attention and reason memory therefore a lesion involving the anterior nucleus can lead to loss of reason memory since the medial dorsal nucleus is associated with moods that is the feeling tone and the emotional balance depending on the nature of the present sensory input and past experience the mood may be that of a well being or euphoria or mild depression next we'll see the thalamic syndrome it usually occurs subsequent to a vascular lesion of the thalamus namely the thrombosis of thalamogeniculate artery when the patient is recovering from a thalamic infarct the characteristic features are the threshold for the pain touch temperature is decreased on the opposite side of the body that is a thalamic overreaction but when the threshold is reached the sensation are exaggerated perverted and disagreeable 
For example, the prick of a pin may be felt as a severe burning sensation and even the music that is ordinarily pleasing may be disagreeable. Sometimes even light touch may produce excruciating pain. The spontaneous pain may occur in some instances that may become intractable and fail to respond to powerful analgesic drugs. There may be emotional instability with spontaneous laughing and crying. Next we will see about the thalamic hand. It is sometimes seen in the thalamic lesion. The opposite hand is held in an abnormal posture. The forearm is pronated. The wrist is flexed, the metacarpophalangeal joint is flexed and the interphalangeal joints are extended. The fingers can be moved but slowly due to the altered muscle tone in the different muscle groups.